Crispina Mornia, whatever. I take whatever. So I was feeling the red background. How would I describe this, John? I guess we could call this a scarlet red glitter makeup look. I wanted to do something a little bit more up there. So just don't forget to like and subscribe and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so right now I'm finishing up the tails of my brows using this BH Cosmetics V10 brush and I'm using the Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and then using some of this L'Oreal True Match. I'm just highlighting the bottom of my brow and blending it out with a Real Technique sponge and then I'm going to be using that same concealer to prime my eyes for eyeshadow as well and I'm using my finger to blend out first and then going back in with that sponge and then I'm using my Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder in my It's My Ray Ray number 4 brush to set as kind of like my base for my eyeshadow and then I'm using this orange shade from this 350M Morph palette and I'm blending in that orange shade with the BH Cosmetics V5 brush Okay, and then once that orange shade is all blended in, I'm taking in like this kind of, I guess you call it like a fuchsia, it's like a reddy pink, to like start deepening up the crease, and I'm using that same brush. I'm um, doing this on both sides, and then I noticed as I was blending it out, it was getting a little bit lighter, so I was using kind of like that reddy, like almost pinky, but like darker shade from my 350M palette, and using that again on my crease to like deepen it up, and I'm using this BH Cosmetics like flat brush to kind of Get that on my base and then taking my it's my rare number six brush and that brown shade from the 350m palette i'm just starting to deepening up my crease to give me a little bit like more depth to my eye and honestly at first i kind of struggled because i didn't know where i wanted to start but i chose the red glitter and then i'm taking from the smashbox double exposure palette in the shade quartz and this wet wild brush i'm highlighting the brow and then taking this like glitter glue that came with my glitter, the Magic Collection, I got it from the beauty supply store. Tapping that in to make it tacky, and then tapping in the glitter as well. And all them bottles up there, the we'll go. We'll go in the recycling. All right, and then using my finger, I'm just tapping it in a little bit more to try to like spread the glitter, and using the Morph B81 brush to kind of further blend out the loose glitter as well. Ah, spilling it everywhere. All right, and then kind of to complete the eyes, I was just using the It's My Ray Ray's number seven brush and using that red shade to kind of go over like the edges so it blends a little bit more and highlighting my inner corners as well with that quartz shade. All right, going in with Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Erasing Primer. I'm using that for my primer and then using the Ruby Kisses Peach Concealer Corrector and using the BH Cosmetics Perfecting Concealer in Light Medium. I'm using that to counteract the darkness underneath my eyes and then using this Black Radiance, I think it's like the True Complexion Foundation in Caramel and Butterscotch. I don't know, it has like two names. I'm using it on the outside of my face and blending that in with my sponge. And then I'm using the Milani 2-in-1, I believe it was shade number 2. And then I'm using that sponge to blend it out and then using going back in with that L'Oreal True Match for like the brightness underneath my eyes and this is kind of repetitive. And then setting it with my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder and that it's my Rare brush again. Then I'm using my LA Colors brush and this Pacifica Contour Powder and Sun Kiss and kind of warming up like my forehead, my cheekbones, and then using that It's My Ray Ray brush to blend out. Then I kind of wet my face and I use the finishing spray by Wet n Wild and my highlighter from Black Radiance to highlight my nose and my cheekbones. And then using these e.l.f. lashes and this dual lash glue, I'm just applying these false lashes. And honestly, I lost my little favorite tool I had, so I was using my fingers. And yeah, I just kind of do it from like the outside in and I just keep readjusting with my finger. And then I use some of the Rimmel Scandalize for underneath my eyes. And then lastly, to tight line my under eye, I'm using this black shade from the Nikki K palette. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and I promise I'm gonna get better at my description box. That's that, ugh. I kind of underestimate how much time that type of stuff would take, but I'm learning. All of this is a process so everything I know I didn't really like hold like too much up today like saying I was using this I was using this but I'll just kind of put that all down below and before you know it 
I'll be back with another video.